Don't let the tin foil hats fool you. Serious business is occurring in this room at the Johns Hopkins Applied Research Lab in Laurel, Maryland. We cannot bring in, as a country, enough people to continually offset the threat, okay? The threat is always involving. In a nutshell, the Mid-Atlantic Region Collegiate Cyber Defense Competition featured students from eight schools locked in what some might describe as a mainframe melee. This is my first time in the competition, my first time being on the team, and um, it's pretty intense. They are uh, defending a, in, a, in a real world environment against a barrage of threats mm -hmm. from hackers. Here in this area called the pit, it's intense. Students analyzing, strategizing, working feverishly to fight off high tech tragedies and keep their mock companies afloat. Something moral Mayor Craig Moe can appreciate. After all, city governments like his have extensive amounts of information and infrastructure tied to computers. So I'm making my way up from the pit, and as you can see behind me, the clock is ticking on those guys and ladies back there. Now, they're the good guys. They're protecting us from the cybersecurity threat. Who's the threat? Well, for that part of the story, follow me. Now, in this part of the world is where the bad guys are hanging out, the hackers. Broken up into a couple of classrooms around me, into white teams and red team, these guys and ladies are spreading malicious malware, stuff that can absolutely cripple your computer system. Okay. The target breach? Yes. The uh, OPM, or the Office of Personnel Management breach, where 20 That's million right. personnel records were stolen. The Sony breach? Military members participated as judges, and their involvement served to remind us just how intertwined cyber and national security is. We conduct 24-7 operations around the world. We launch planes, we operate ships, submarines, space assets. We are truly a global entity. And in this real world scenario, a moment of theater. The team calling themselves the Drexel Cyber Dragons identify a hacker. Thanks to Drexel University, we have a red teamer off the table. And justice is served. I'm, um, you know, again, just, you know, really proud of the way that they've they performed. Uh, you know, I don't know that Nationals is going to be in the cards this year for them, but Who this knows? is a heck of a learning, learning experience. The Drexel coach was correct. No Nationals for his Cyber Dragons this year. That distinction goes to UMBC. You remember, the guys who donned those tinfoil hats? Fashionable? No, but they say it prevented their brain waves from being hijacked by hackers. We have to prevent the red team from reading our minds, so. <laughs> well, the strategy apparently worked. For Laurel TV, I'm Dave Owens. Hands up, let me see him. Hands up, 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 stand up, take two steps back from your system. Do not touch them, do not close lids.